This video will look at using our online shop for purchasing Epi Reviewer access. From the online shop, you can extend the expiry date of your user account, your reviews, or anyone else's account or review. The online shop is accessed through the Epi Reviewer 4 Account and Review Manager that can be found in the Epi Reviewer 4 Gateway. Let's log into the Account and Review Manager to begin. Once you have logged in, you will find yourself in the Summary tab where you can see details about your account and reviews. The online shop can be accessed through the Purchase tab in the menu. The first thing you need to enter are your invoicing details. All of this information is needed to complete the billing process. Once you have entered and saved your information, it will be available the next time that you enter the online shop. You will next find yourself on a page where you can select what you wish to purchase. Let's first look at user account purchasing. If you wish to extend the expiry date of your user account, find your name in the table and select how much you wish to extend it by. It doesn't matter whether you're extending a trial account or an account you have extended in the past. They are both valid user accounts. The cost of the extension is shown and a total is displayed at the bottom of the screen. The minimum period of purchase is three months. If you are managing the project and wish to purchase further access for other users, you just need to enter the account ID and email associated with their account. They will be added to the list of accounts for purchasing where you can then select the number of months to extend it by. If you have selected the wrong account to extend, you can remove it from the list by changing the number of months to zero. I'm going to put this account back for this example. It is also possible to purchase an account that is not yet being created. To do this, you should click on the Add New Account link. A new account will be created and displayed. You can then select the length of access in months. A new account purchased in this fashion can be activated at any time, so it is a way to purchase accounts for future use. These accounts can be activated on the summary page by the person who created them. If you wish to remove the new account before purchasing, you can select the Remove link. Now let's look at review purchasing. If you wish to extend the expiry date of an existing shareable review, you just need to find it in the list and select the number of months to extend it by. The cost of the extension is displayed and added to the total at the bottom of the screen. If you have a non-shareable review and you wish to change it to a shareable review, you just need to add some months to it to create an expiry date. If you are managing a project, but not necessarily one of the people using Epi Reviewer, you can extend the expiry date of a review that you are not in. You just need to know the review ID and the review name. If you enter these details, the review will be added to the list. It doesn't matter if the review is shareable or non-shareable. You can still purchase months of access to make it shareable. As with the account purchase, selecting zero months will remove it from the list. I'm going to put it back for this example. As with account purchasing, you can purchase a shareable review that is not yet being created. To do this, you should click on the Add New Review link. A new shareable review will be created and displayed. You can then select the length of access in months. A new review purchased in this fashion can be activated at any time, so it is a way to purchase shareable reviews for the future use. These shareable reviews can be activated on the summary page by the person who created them. If you wish to remove the new review before purchasing, you can select the Remove link. I'm going to put it back for this example. We have now extended and created a number of accounts and reviews. The cost for each item is shown and a total cost is displayed at the bottom of the screen. If this is a European based purchase, we are required to add the UK VAT tax. This is listed before the total fee. All of your selections are recorded, so if you decide to cancel your purchase at this point, you can come back to it later to carry on. If you are satisfied with your selections, you should now click on Purchase. The terms and conditions of using Epi Reviewer are listed and must be agreed to before proceeding. To proceed, click on the Agree button. You will now be prompted to proceed to the Secure Payment System by clicking on Continue. The payment system will display a summary of what you will be charged. If this is agreeable, click on Continue. If not, you can click on Cancel. You will now be prompted to enter your card details and billing address. The billing address is related to your credit card details and is required for verification. When you have filled in all the information, click on Continue to complete the process. 
All of your purchase history is available to view in the Purchase tab. Clicking on Details will give you a more complete breakdown of each transaction. Clicking on Download Invoice will download a text file of the transaction. For more information about EpiReviewer 4, please see our other videos or go to the EpiReviewer 4 Gateway. The web address is shown on the screen.